Hello and welcome to another episode of the Rotating Cup Expert. So this is gonna be a little bit different video. We're gonna talk about when can I drive after rotator cuff repair? Some of it depends on your surgeon, obviously, so talk to your surgeon. So it depends on what actually was done in your surgery as well. And so the answer is obviously like everything else, it's not quite so simple as this date or this date, but, but I'll give you some general trends, general ideas, general rules of when you can drive. So first of all, if you have a rotator cuff repair versus having a clean out, or, or you know, that some people maybe call it a subacromial decompression, or, or just some, again, we might call it a clean out. So there's nothing being repaired other than little, little incisions around your, around your shoulder. So there's nothing that, that can be torn if you move too fast. And if that's the case, there's probably not a really great hard and fast rule. It may be a few days, you know, when you stop taking pain medicine, uh, when you're, you know, when you're kind of with it, so to speak, um, then you probably can. But this is not really what we're talking about today, really more about rotator cuff. Now, if you have a rotator cuff, I'll tell you my general train of thought is that it takes about six weeks to have enough healing in your rotator cuff to allow you to move your arm, right? So the first six weeks, a general, normal rotator cuff, we don't want you to do this actively at all. We want you to maybe to do this with your other arm or have your therapist help you, but we don't want you to actively do this with your arm. And therefore, you know, we don't want you to do this. Now people say, well, I drive with one hand and yeah, you can, but you know, that's not what your license says. Your license is not allowing you to drive with one hand. Your license says you, you need to be able to use two in cir certain circumstances. In that respect, we really we really don't want you to drive, and it's not safe to drive, and you'll get a ticket if you drive with just one hand without having without having another uh, hand available. And so that's why six weeks, we say, okay, the first six weeks, we get some healing. It heals enough so then we can begin to actively elevate it. So my rule of thumb for my patients, if it is a normal, smaller rotator cuff tear, six weeks, we get the motion back, and then I give them another six, another week or so with therapy to try and get the strength back, and then I say you can drive. So somewhere about seven weeks after surgery is my general answer for a rotator cuff tear. Unless it's a massive rotator cuff tear, a very large rotator cuff tear, if that's the case, then we're gonna slow you down. We might not have you do this for eight weeks, and then if it's a really big rotator cuff tear that we're really worried that it's easy to re-tear, then we may not say you can drive until nine weeks or 10 weeks or 11 weeks. So that's important to, to know the difference. And so again, that's where you talk with your surgeon, how big was the tear, how hard was the tear to repair, um, how worried are they of it re-tearing, and therefore that will help guide the time frame. But again, general seven weeks or so for a small rotator cuff, longer for a big rotator cuff. Other thing, when you were driving, do not use your sling, do not use your immobilizer, right? If you have it on your sling on and you get pulled over, you're gonna get in trouble too. Lastly, if you do feel like you can drive and you're, again, six, seven weeks out from a small rotator cuff repair, take your car with someone else, have them drive you to a big empty parking lot and drive around and see how you feel, slam on the brakes, make some more rapid maneuvers to see how you feel. And it may be that, you know what, at seven weeks, you try and you go, well, I'm not, it's just not really good enough, right? I'm not comfortable enough and it's not worth it, right? So the biggest thing is when you drive too early, obviously you put yourself in danger, you put your passengers in danger, um, but also you put the people around the on the road in danger too. I understand people get stir crazy, want to stay inside, don't want to stay inside, want to get out, want to be independent again. That's a part of the whole reason why we do a rotator cuff repair. But just wait a week or two more. If you feel uncomfortable, just wait a little bit longer. Make sure that you're not taking your pain medicine, right? You don't want to take any pain medicine anywhere near a time you're going to be on the road. Pain medicine, any narcotics or uh, tramadol, things like that, or any muscle relaxers, gabapentin, all those things you should not be driving with. And you need at least eight hours, maybe more, to be off those medicines before you drive. So that's the other part, that's another part of it, right? You may be ready to drive, you need to make sure that you're ready to drive, your doc said you can drive, that you're not wearing your sling, that you're not taking any narcotics or mood altering medicines, and make sure you feel comfortable before you get on the road. Okay, thanks so much for this. Um, remember, Rotator to Cuff Expert, that's where you're watching this mybodyprotector.com. We have some additional resources over there. So please go over there and check that out. We have some blog posts. So if you prefer to have um, the kind of the written word version, not the audio version, um, go over there and we'll have this video up there shortly. Um, it'll be on YouTube first. And then please like, comment, subscribe to this video and to this channel. Uh, I appreciate all the likes and I appreciate all the subscribers. 
Uh, we're getting up there. We have about over 1,600 right now. I'm trying to figure out when we get to 2,000, what kind of celebration can we have? What kind of added value can I bring for a thank you for uh, subscribing uh, 2,000 subscribers? So if you have any idea, any thoughts of what we could do special or what I could do special and thanking you for the 2,000, please add, add that to the comments. If you have any other comments about driving or anything else, any other videos you'd like me to, to, uh, to make, please let me know. And again, thanks again. I appreciate your time and we'll see you next time.